Okay, so uh, here with Sam, a 3 0 win tonight in the Surrey Senior Cup away at Ashford Town. Got to be pleased with the result, yep. which we'll come on to in a minute. You made five changes to your starting lineup. Yep. You brought in Lindell, um, Noah, uh, Charlie, Charlie, yep. Ash, yep. and who was the other one? Uh, ben Holden was ben back Holden at left back, yeah. yeah. How did you think the boys did? New ones in at the side. Couldn't have asked for any more to be fair. Like I think the first half again, it wasn't even a sticky start. We we started um, quite quickly. Um I thought we were winning a lot of first and second balls in there against a side that tries to dominate those. You know, they're quite quite direct, we know what to expect. Obviously we only played them was it just over a week ago, so yeah, it was quite fresh in fresh in our minds and I think we were a little bit disappointed that we only took a, a point from that game. So um, we just wanted to obviously prove a point today and, and a few of the lads that obviously came in today, um, you know, that was the conversation. Try and win your shirt and they've done a, done a good job. Obviously we had the chat on Saturday and we we highlighted that Ryland probably didn't have his best game. Yeah. Tonight I thought he was excellent. Yeah. Solid. Yep. Yeah. yeah, and that's what we expect from every single player, you know, that we can have a few words and, and to say that you can um could do better. Um, and at the end of the day he came back in and he, he proved the point again today. So yeah, good. perfect. Um, it was good to see Ash back in the side. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's obviously a very good player, but a yeah. bit injury prone at the minute. But to get him back must have been a really, real good boost for you. Exactly why we brought him in. Yeah, at the end of the day, and obviously the boys know him, and he's, he is Mr. Reliable when he's on that pitch. And um, I think he offered a lot of good protection um, for for young Noah in there as well. Okay. Talking about Noah, I mean, 17 years old, first start. Yeah. Turned in a man of the match performance. Yep. Yeah. Unreal. Superb. Absolutely superb. The kid that we saw when we played Cobham under 23s, we knew obviously he was going to be a, a, a good player and obviously help um, try and help him along his way, hopefully up the leagues. Um, and today, you just you wouldn't know he was 17 years old. No. I mean, just he, he, the, the thing with him, it's not just the footballing ability. He plays like someone that's played for the last sort of 10, 15 years. He does the the, the dirty dirty work, shall we say? He does the dirty work, but what I liked. He wasn't afraid of bossing around some of the older players. No. I mean, you get some youngsters that come into a side mm. and they'll be sort of shying away. Should I say this? Should I say that? Mm. But I think with Matt and Noah, both of them are confident enough youngsters to actually boss people. And that's why I'm not afraid to have them yeah. in the side at the end of the day, yeah. And you must have been absolutely delighted with the third goal. I mean, it was uh, a goal made in the under-18s. Noah to Matt, lovely little switch ball. Yeah. Great finish by AJ. Uh, the weight of pass from Matt is... Super, like it's one of the best uh, sort of passes I've certainly seen uh, this season for sure. And again, mate, it's, it's why these guys are in, in the team at the moment and getting their chance. Um, and I think whilst the confidence is there for, for the pair of them, they're still going to be in around it for sure. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it's going to now start giving you some really tough decisions, but some good decisions. <laughs> yep. I mean, you've got the two kids who are, are I'm not going to say making themselves undroppable, but are sort of well on the way to going that, to doing that. Yep. You've got people like Ash has come back into the side, has been excellent. You're missing Rooney. You didn't have Conan in the lineup tonight. Mm -hmm. You're looking strong. Yeah, that's where we want to be. That's the whole point of a squad <laughs> at the end of the day. And we know we're coming up to a, um, a sticky time with um, sort of the winter games as well. Because we're games going to get called off. We're going to have a lot back to back. Um, and the, the schedule we can see is sort of three day gaps yeah. between games. So we're going to have to use it. And um, yeah, it was used very well today. Were there any uh, disappointing points on the game tonight for you? I mean, for me, I didn't really see anything that I'd say, oh, you know what, he could have done better. I thought everybody stepped up to the plate. I mean, I was pretty quiet on the sideline, Gary, so that would probably tell you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think it was. Point, exactly. So I think that kind of says it all, to be honest. As I said to the, as I said to the boys, I said, look, you know, watching them sort of, um, you know, get together and the, the style of football, obviously, in the final third, just lovely to watch. So, yeah, didn't really have to say anything. And um, I can't really say it was a bad point, really. Good. We'll move on now to Saturday. Another must-win game up at Chipstead. Yep. It'll be a tough game, but we're actually in form now. Everybody's uh, confident. And that's exactly where we needed to be going into that game. I think in my mind, sort of looking on paper, we needed to know we could get points on the board and, and a win potentially in the cup to, to make sure we go into that game yeah, in, in form with our, with our tails up. Um, Chipstead are always close games. You know, whether I've played against them myself or, you know, um, played against them obviously for, for uh, sorry for SCR so um, yeah I'm looking forward to it um, and hopefully yeah the boys can obviously turn in the result that we need to climb back up the table. Perfect thank you very much mate and go and enjoy your drink. Cheers mate. <laughs>